Hey guys, Tech Crunch with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a back button feature on your iPhone, and this will work on pretty much any iPhone that you have. So let's show you how that's done. Now, first thing is that you have to note that back button isn't a thing on your iPhone, and what I might mean by that is if you're going on any navigation here, right, there's no back button to go back. You have to just simply swipe to go back. So if you're going deep somewhere, right, the way to go back is one page at a time. You just keep on swiping. There's no actual button that will take you back. But what you can do is actually mimic that action using what's known as assistive touch, which if you go into your settings, go to do settings, and then you want to go to general settings, accessibility, and then touch, and then assistive touch. And you turn this on now. It does create this button looking thing on your screen here. Now with this, button that you see it grays out and then it'll show up when you click it you can actually activate certain action so for example if I click on a single time I can let it go to do one of the system action for example maybe home because most of the time when you click on the back button you're looking to get back to the home screen right so that's for single tap now for the double tap I made one app switcher because again that's the same thing you're kinda of trying to do on an Android phone when you are switching right hitting that back button you want to get to app switcher so now if I do a single click I go back to the home page without actually like closing out the actual settings page right now if I do a double click I get to app switcher just like that which again mimics the functionality of a back button now I know it's not the exact back button itself and this is the best you can do currently on the latest iOS version. And Apple, I don't think it's planning on ever actually having the back button. Even on some of the Android devices, back button isn't a thing. It might just go away and you just have to get used to the whole swiping feature or use this, again, feature again to click on. As you can see here, these are the quickest way to do it. And if you want to turn it off, you can always come back and turn it off. But that's kind of the way to have a back button functionality on iPhone, not a physical button. But again, this is the best you can do right now. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.